Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video, we're going to go ahead and discuss um, Thai condominiums and how Thai condo ownership pertains to immigration. Now, quickly, there's another video on this channel which discusses Thai condominium ownership by foreigners specifically and in depth, so I recommend possibly going ahead and watching that either first or after this video to sort of understand some of the dynamics with respect to foreign ownership, freehold ownership of Thai condominiums. But let's go ahead and set that issue aside and just suffice it to say it is possible for a foreign national in the Kingdom of Thailand to own a Thai condominium in freehold so long as the condominium comports with the provisions of the Thai Condominium Act as amended as of the time of this filming. That being said, let's say you own a Thai con an individual of foreign nationality owns a Thai condominium here in Thailand and they wish to go ahead and get a visa. That individual is not married to a Thai citizen, has no dependents who are Thai citizens, does not uh, own, maintain a business in the kingdom, and does not, it's not otherwise qualified for something like say a retirement visa or an education visa. In the past, it was possible to get an O visa issued in connection and specifically for those who had bought a condominium in Thailand. It was even discussed rather at length uh, by certain immigration officers. It's been my experience that as far as, as utilizing a Thai condo specifically to get a Thai visa, this is being phased out in practice. Now, whether the actual laws or regulations have actually changed, that's sort of difficult to say. It, it's all been sort of dictated, not, not dictated is the wrong word, but it's been sort of adjudicated in a discretionary manner. O visas themselves, unbeknownst to many, are a miscellaneous visa category. So in a way, they're almost all sort of issued in a discretionary manner dependent upon circumstances. I've had clients who in the past uh, were issued O visas specifically in order to enjoy their condominiums here in Thailand. And those individuals who had been in that status, I've learned this anecdotally, they've been told by Thai immigration in recent years, yes, you can continue to, uh, to go ahead and keep applying for renewal of that visa, but understand, if you allow that visa to lapse, we cannot guarantee that we're going to go ahead and reissue a new O visa as the current feeling is that O visa issuance with the, the only reason being for said issuance being to go ahead just for the purpose of because one has a Thai condominium, has ownership of a Thai condominium, um, that is not going to be considered, let's say, as valid a reason for issuance as it was in the past. Again, this is all very discretionary. But, and, and on top of this, not only that, I've, anecdot I've anecdotally come to know that there are certain individuals who have been directly told by immigration officers, we're simply not going to keep renewing um, said visa uh, based simply upon uh, you having just a Thai condominium. Now, please understand that in the anecdotal evidence that's come to me regarding essentially cancellation of the O visa simply for purpose because one has a condominium, that individual actually is married to a Thai national and had Thai national dependents. So I think that the thinking went with that case that it was like, eh, you're in this amorphous category with respect to condominium ownership. You could be over here in a very clearly delineated category of marriage visa and dependent visa. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just move you out of this amorphous category, move you into a clearly delineated category. That's what it, that's what it says to me. That being said, it's my, I would say it's probably not the best idea to simply assume that a o, an O visa is going to go ahead and be issued uh, simply because one has freehold ownership of a Thai condominium. I think it's fairly safe to assume that moving forward that and that alone is not going to be considered, is not necessarily going to be considered sufficient enough cause to go ahead and issue a one-year O visa extension here in the kingdom. Um, that being said, those who already have Thai condo ownership and have been getting issued O visas, I think it's fairly safe to assume that probably those extensions are going to continue to keep getting issued. But as with everything, immigration matters are discretionary. So a change in the regulations may result 
in a very clearly delineated policy of no longer allowing issuance of such visas under such circumstances.